Yo, all right, y'all. What's going on? It's your boy Foots. Um, back at it. Back getting to this consistency, and I love, I love, I love that Mike McCarthy is keeping the media out. It's not too many training camp live situations. They can't really report on defensive days. I love all that. Now, let's talk about the uh, the monkey, the elephant in the room. Obviously, Gerald McCoy went out, and I got my five standouts, and I got um. So the uh, early training camp, like who's standing out, who's who's kind of looking a certain way, and I'll get to those guys. But let's just talk about it right here and right now. Gerald McCoy out with the with the quad injury um, out for the year. I think it was a strain or it, it's bad. Uh, here's the deal. I hate to say that I said this was gonna happen, but I said this was gonna happen. Not with Gerald McCoy, but just with these athletes in general. It's not the same when you're out training and making IG videos and, and doing all this stuff, it's not the same as you going through a real NFL practice where it's timed, where these coaches are 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 are, 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 are speaking on, on tempo when when you're when you have bodies leaning on you. Like your body and your tendons and your your muscle mass has to get pretty much ready for that. You see what I'm saying to you? And the truth is, you know, when you start getting physical, one wrong step, one pulled uh, a foot from under you, anything, you step wrong, out. And uh, fortunately, uh, a six-time Pro Bowler who we were depending on uh, is out for the year. However, you wanted Tristan Hill, you got him. Now, I think there's going to be a mix of, of Tristan Hill, Woods, uh, you're going to have to get creative. Hey, creative. Hey, Everson Griffin can play inside some. Um, I think that hopefully Tom Zula is able to kind of do kind of like what Rod used to try to do and, and put pieces different places. And, and then look, Tyrone Crawford is still on his team. And I, I like Joe Rod's tweet. It was like, yo, don't just sit on this. Maybe, maybe try to go get another piece. But the fact is, you drafted Tristan Hill in the second round for a reason, Cowboys fans. Botch. You told me Tristan Hill can ball. I want to see it. You know, Vach is my guy. I just did something with Vach uh, yesterday. Vach, Okoye, Law Nation, the homies. But Vach, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a, I'm, I'm holding you, your, your feet to the fire. It's time now. Injuries are gonna happen. I still like this D line moving forward. I still like our defense moving forward. Like I said, Everson Griffin, he put us over the top, so we're fine, guys. But somebody's gonna have to step up. And guess what? I tell my the kids that I coach all the time. If if when, when somebody goes down, that's an opportunity. If somebody's not at practice, that's truthfully an opportunity for you to make a play. All right, let's go over these standouts real quick and and and, and just Mike McCarthy, man. Every time he comes to the podium, it's like a breath of <sighs> fresh air, dog. He's no nonsense. He's no corn. Like he's he's either you love him or you don't, guy. It, it, it's no nonsense, y'all. And I love the fact what he's doing with the media. And, I, and, you know, Law made a really good point yesterday, and I want to bring this. Every clip that I've seen, I see him right over top of Dak Prescott. That's coaching. Hey, 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 feet. Feet here. Hey, hey, ho, oh, oh, look at this. When you coach the best, you know what it's supposed to look like. You know what these quarterbacks are supposed to feel and, and this, that, and the third. So, anyway, just, just a breath of fresh air that is Mike McCarthy. You could even hear in Zeke's voice like, McCarthy's just, it's no nonsense. And, and you can see that he's just a football guy, man. And his 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 resume speaks for itself. I don't think he's going to come in here. You know, he got that big, that that, that, that that burly look, like that, just that Wisconsin. Just, I'm just, we just going to play football, man. We're not, I'm not going to be cheesing from ear to ear. I'm not going to be on joke time. You guys are going to be held accountable. Um, and, and they're still going out and getting pieces, even with the Everson Griffin. They're not just going to rely on their guys. If if somebody's not getting it done, or if you if you're not meeting standards, then there's a chance you make a replace. All right, here we go, guys. C. Lamb, Anthony Brown, Alden Smith, Tony Pollard, Zeke. Those are my five standouts. What I'm hearing about C. D. Lamb is that he's just smooth. He's just smooth. He's just ready to go, um, and that's exciting. Um, I think that there's a real possibility that I don't want to say he starts on the outside, but you're going to see so much one tight end, three receiver sets. They're going to run out of that. They're going to pass out of that. Um, and speaking of running the ball, Tony Potter and Zeke, I'm hearing that they're using both of them in the passing game, and that's what I wanted to see. I want to see mismatches created. I think that Mike McCarthy will do a great job of getting these guys on slow players, 
getting these guys on players who don't defend well, getting them in opportunities and space. I'm hearing that they're making plays. I'm hearing that Tony Pollard had a really good practice first day of pass today, that he had a really good practice. That's exciting. Alden Smith. Let's talk about Alden Smith for a second. He looks like he's in shape. There's that clip going around of him beating Tyrone Smith. Like, yo, Alden Smith very well could be the still of this whole situation. Like, I I did a roundtable yesterday, and I told you, and I told the guys, that like, yo, if we're talking about the best pass rusher on this team, if they're at their highest, it's Alden Smith, y'all. It's Alden Smith. So I want you guys to keep that in mind. The fact that he's doing great means so, so much to me. Um... So hopefully he can continue that flow. Hopefully he can continue to make plays. And and just Anthony Brown, just old faithful. Um, uh, uh, past breakups. Um, I'm hearing that he caught a pick today. Uh, yesterday when they were doing Skelly. Listen, you need him to be great. You need Anthony Brown to be great because early on, without you know Trayvon Diggs having an, an, a, a true offseason and having OTAs and the whole nine, if he's not up to speed, Anthony Brown may have to go on the outside. It's just one of those things. He's a veteran. He's done it before. They paid him, so it is what it is. All right, guys, that's just a quick hitter. Those are my quick standouts. Again, we don't know much, and I love it. Let's keep everybody out the loop in the green. But to hear that these guys are doing what they're doing, to hear what we're saying about, you know, Mike McCarthy, Everson Griffin back in the fold, yes, we had the injury, but guess what? There's going to be more injuries around the league. This is called the adapt year. You're going to have to adapt. Just like I'm watching the NBA games right now in the bubble, you better adapt. It's going to be like a new season every week with some of this stuff. If a player gets COVID, injuries, whatever, you got to adapt. It's your boy Foots. Hey.